voy a, um, es decir, yo estudié, como había dicho Ro, estudié en la escuela. Como había dicho Ro, estudié en la escuela. Y museografía. Y museografía. Sin embargo, no he estudiado fotografía. I have never studied photography. Los trabajos fotográficos han ido saliendo, eh, poco a poco he ido aprendiendo sobre la mancha. My photography work has been developed slowly. Y, pero siempre tienen como la influencia de, de esas dos carreras que estudié, que fue la eh, Bellas Artes y, y Museografía. Y siempre tienen la influencia de ambas carreras que estudié, que fue la Museología y la Fine Arts. De la pintura saqué en limpio bueno, eh, lo, lo, el, el modo de hacer, el modo de ver la, la fotografía. From the painting, I took out all the way to look at photography. Y de la museografía, eh, eh, el modo de exhibirla. ¿no? And from museology is um, the way I exhibit it. ¿Podemos empezar con otro? Sí. Esta es una de mis primeras piezas que eran todavía, eh, podía llamarse pintura, si era un lienzo, era... Eh, eh, pigmento, pero era totalmente matérico, era ya, ya venía siendo un objeto. This is one of my early uh, canvases. Nunca fui muy figurativo, no sé cómo no, no. was not much into figurative painting. Y eso fue cambiando hacia las instalaciones. It slowly started changing into installations. Pinté brevemente y es, eh, inmediatamente salté a, a trabajar piezas tridimensionales. I briefly painted and I started Diferentes materiales. Working through dimensional pieces with different materials. En este caso se trataba de, me, de, de mezclar los materiales naturales con los materiales del mundo artificial con el mundo natural. In this case, I was trying to mix the natural world with the artificial world. Sin que hubiera contradicción entre ambos. You don't have any contradictions between. Eh, hice muy pocas fotos como de, de salir a la calle como a tomar fotos como ha hecho el grupo que fue a la baja I made very few photos outside of the street like the pero eso es, eso es un patio habanero this is a patio in Havana sí, porque le titulé el triángulo del gato and I called it the cat's triangle porque está compuesto por muchos triángulos because it's composed of many triangles triángulos y en el centro había un gato and in the center there was a cat <laughs> eh, otra de mis primeras imágenes This is another one of my first images, and which is a, a broken stool. It was at the patio of my house, and it's one of the early pieces. Ahora, cuando comienzo a utilizar la fotografía en múltiples imágenes juntas, ¿no? So I started working with uh, multiple images together in photography. Yo le explicaba a la señora hace unos minutos que que dentro de la carencia de materiales que existía en Cuba yo quería hacer grandes piezas. I was explaining earlier that within the, the limits of the lack of materials I wanted to make large pieces. Me refiero a grandes dimensiones. Large in dimensions. No, grandes en importancia. Not grand, but large. Y la solución que, que di fue, tenía papel muy pequeño, papel fotográfico muy pequeño. And the solution that I found is that I had very small pieces of photograph. La solución paper. fue hacer múltiples. So, putting multiple pieces together, I could have large pieces. So the number of images was uh, growing. In the previous work, and this one too, they, they still the subject is nature. It was uh, the soil with a, with a human, human prints in photography. Otra vez, una serie que se llamó Tierra Rara. This is another series that was called Rare Earth. Donde era, todavía suele ser una, una atracción. Which still is an abstract piece. Pero fotografía. But photograph. Con miles de fotos. With thousands of photos. En ese caso era fotografiado, solamente fotografiado un alambre, un alambre de metal. Lo movía y, y iba fotografiando y hacía la caligrafía. This was originally a piece of wire that I was moving in different shapes and I was taking different shots and making different calligraphy uh, signs with it. Then I started a series called Fallen Leaves. 
eh, eh, la jaraca eh, para mí simboliza el paso del tiempo. Fallen leaves to me que, means how time goes by. Que eh, ha envejecido, ha caído, pero todavía existe, ¿no? Things that get old but they still exist. Yeah. Y lo vinculo muchas veces, verás en adelante que se vincula muchas veces con la, mi memoria familiar. And I link this to family memory. Otra foto de la serie Jaraca, esa es mi, mi habitación. De This is another photo of uh, the same Fallen Leaf series. This is my own room. Sí, yo lo que hice en esa época fue crear, <laughs> sí, exacto, crear ambientes para fotografiarlo después. So during that time I was creating environments that I would later take pictures of. Ya para esta fecha dejé absolutamente de salir a, a tomar fotos. By this time I stopped going out to take yeah, pictures. <laughs> So it was an invert process. Instead of the man going out to nature, nature was coming inside and invading the space. <laughs> Otra imagen de esa serie. Bueno, bueno, de mi serie. Es el furniture de mi casa. La escalera. Esto es las escaleras. Ahí está. Dice, de, esa, esa serie de Baraca la mezclé con una. Un, de un nuevo paso que era a encerrar en un pequeño ambiente parte de esa naturaleza. So from the same fallen leaves uh, series, this was a new step, Fue trying to put uh, fallen leaves inside sí, one sí, crear pequeños ambientes, sí. particular environment. Es decir, la jarasca, parte de la jarasca que había en la naturaleza la pasé a, a esos cubos. So part of those leaves went into the sí, cubes. De vez en cuando utilizo los cubos como como pieza. Still once in a while still use the cubes as pieces for my for Otra imagen de esa época, los años 80 también. This is another image of the stage in the 80s. Ya, yeah, esa fue la eh, una versión que se hizo para el Museo Nacional de Bellas Artes. This is a uh, version for the National Museum of Fine Arts. Entonces comienzo a hacer de, posteriormente a trabajar con las imágenes familiares. ¿no? And then soon after that I started working with uh, family photos. A partir de las fotos que existían en mi colección. From the collection, family collection photos. Aparecen ellas, mi padre, mi abuelo. And my father, my grandfather were in there. Mis tíos, my uncles. Todos mis antepasados. All of my uh, ancestors. Y esos eh, esos halagos eh, tratan sobre una cosa muy común en Cuba y no sé si. En And these bundles are talking about something very common in Cuba. Atan, eh, cartas y retratos con unos brazos. Which is that people tie up all these bundles of documents with, with some ropes to put them away in the drawers. These are more bundles. We're going to see several, several shots of this. This is a detail of the bundles. Another detail. <laughs> so the, these are wires and, and ropes tied up around all these letters. And I'm super on uh, yeah. I'm, I'm over overlapping the letters with the images. This is another sample. And one more. Ay, bueno, ahora se empieza. Siempre lo, eso, eso bueno, están las imágenes de las, los textos de las cartas. Y puse encima de esos los atados uno los, los plumas. So here is where the the uh, the pieces are start evolving. We have some of the letters, and we have also some of the bundles, and we have also some of the the pens. Sí, no. Yeah, so I started incorporating objects 
in this series. So you can see here the pen point in the bundles. This is a series of letters. It's all photography of the letters. These are not the letters themselves. And the pen points. Esto es una representación de una pieza de a gran escala que hice en el Museo de Bellas Artes, ¿no? This is a representation of a large piece that I did, uh, exhibited at the Fine Arts Place. Se llamó Historia Circular. It was called Circular Histories. Y eso es una pared del museo. And it's a, one of the walls Con in the museum. Con pequeñas fotos. With thousands of little photos. Y, y alrededor de, a, a, lo, a la pared a lo largo había eh, lentes fotográficos, filtros. En el lado del muro había filtros y uh, lentes que tenían forma circular también. Que tenían circular formas. Incorporaba los retratos familiares. Eh, Incorporaba todos los familiares. Y tenía el carácter de instalación. So you had the character of an installation. Esa es la pared que aparece ahí, ¿no? This is the wall that I showed you earlier. Son miles de fotos pequeñitas. There are thousands of small photos. Donde aparece mi memoria familiar. Where the family memory appears. All the leaves, one more time. Y comienzan a aparecer las formas circulares. And the circular shapes begin to be shown. Que se repiten en mi trabajo a menudo. Which are repeated often in my work. This is the center of the installation. La idea era que de un lente fotográfico era la forma circular, como de un lente fotográfico surgía la era como la creación de las imágenes con un lente fotográfico. So the idea is that the the photo lens is the creation point of all the images. Por eso estaba en el centro. And that's why it was in the center of the piece. Otro ejemplo de Here's another example of circular photographic circles. We will pass. We will see several samples of the signals. Where we see the incorporation of objects in photography. These are these are the hands, the the artist's hands, and the wife's hands. Los objetos, es decir, la a serie de los objetos de eh, series of the objects no, no reales sino fotografiados they're not real they're all como photos una especie de muestrario arqueológico and it's more, more like a catalog of archaeology todos son piezas de bastante tamaño ¿no? grandes they all are very large pieces eh, regreso abandono la fotografía para descanso de la fotografía so I take a rest from photography for a while día. for a while y, bueno y, and instead of taking photos of the objects, I put together the objects. One more time, you can see the circular shape. This is a detail of the piece. Eso no se aprecia bien lo por la imagen y la calidad de la imagen, pero son se llama jardín. You can appreciate very well here because of the quality of the image, but it's called the garden, and it's fragments of uh, broken plates. So it's called garden because the 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 subject of the plates. It's all gardens. It's, it's uh, flowers and leaves. Like many of the family uh, dishes. A detail. One more. It's a, this is taken to a much larger scale. It's now should be installed in a hotel in Havana City. El tripo, eso forma parte de una serie que se llama uh, Objeto Fotográfico. This tripo is called, part of a series called uh, Photographic Objects. Eh, hice uso de todos mis, casi de, de mis medios de, de trabajar, como el, el tripo de... Well, I was using most of the, the tools. Here is a tripo in a, in a lens. 
Esto es una, un reloj que viene a casa, es decir, no, nada sobrevive en mi casa. This is an old clock that was in my house, nothing survives there. Con los atrás. With all the bundles. Los libros tampoco sobreviven. The books didn't survive either. Eso es una pieza de mi, los mismos fotos, retratos familiares, pero utilizo una pieza que se llama Marginador. This is also a piece from the family portraits, but I call it Marginador. Oh, this is one, one piece where you press the, the color paper. The contact. The contact, yeah. So this is a detail of that piece. A very old piece, of course. This is a press, contact press. You don't need that. And from? La guillotina de uno de nosotros. ¿De qué? ¿De paper cutter? Ajá. Fue incorporado por más imágenes de objetos. More images of objects. En diferentes fotografías. En diferentes fotografías. Otro ejemplo. En otro ejemplo. Aquí guardo de atados o... Aquí estamos usando más blancos. Con imágenes de los letras. Y aquí otro mismo, pero llevado a mayor escala también, mucho más atado con, con imágenes. Y this one is a bunch of bundles taken into a larger scale with con uh, retratos familiares, family portraits, and uh, letters. Los cubos eh, tuve, que eran solamente con jarasca. Here are the cubes that earlier were with just the home leaves. Una variación, incluyeron la jarasca más los Now they have a variation with the bundles, memory bundles, plus the objects. La forma utilizo también en ocasiones la forma de la cruz. I also use the shape of the cross. La cruz tiene la misma casi la misma da el mismo sentido de que el círculo tiene un centro which has the same sense of a circle because it has a center donde parte la imagen from which all images depart la cruz es algo muy común en los hogares cubanos the cross is a very common symbol in the Cuban homes detalle es el detalle Los atados también comenzaron los mismos atados con el retrato familiar. The bundles were the family portraits. Para tener objetos. Also start out. And I get incorporated some objects. Cambiando de medio, es decir, abandonar lo que es el círculo y tratando de incorporar nuevos eh, objetos. Without leaving the concept of the circle. Eh, eh, ¿Cómo se llama? Eh, eh, using paraguas. New materials. We use umbrellas. Umbrellas. Con imágenes transparentes. With uh, some transparent films or slides. Le pido disculpas porque la imagen no está clara. Las imágenes no están claras. I'm sorry that the image is not very clear. Is there a very good resolution? Utilicé la, aproveché la estructura de un paraguas so I the of the para soportar las imágenes. To support all the images. Esos tres paraguas forman parte de la última exposición que hice. So the three three umbrellas are part of the last exhibit that I presented. Los detalles. Las manos son una de las pocas veces que he utilizado la parte del, del cuerpo humano ha sido las manos solamente. This is one of the few times that I have uh, shown any parts of the body, which in this case are the hands. Y en las últimas etapas, bueno, lo que he hecho es fragmentar mucho la imagen. In the last stages of my work, what I have done is I fragmented the photos even more. Llevar a, al extremo la idea de que cada foto es un fragmento de, de lo que podemos ver. Taking the idea to the extreme, the idea that every photo is a fragment of what we see. 
Ah, ese es un eh, video, video instalación, ¿no? son imágenes fijas de un video, video instalación. These are uh, fixed images of a video installation. Una vez más, retomo la, la jarasca. Que And once again, I take the idea of the fallen leaves. Y se proyectaron las imágenes sobre la jarasca. And the images are projected on the fallen leaves. Y estas son unas vistas, es el perro de la galería. This is the, the dog of the gallery, you can see in the corner. Eh, guardián de la galería. The dog in the gallery. Ahora uh, voy a presentar unas vistas de la última exposición. Now I am presenting some of the views of the last exhibit. En Miami, bueno, en In Miami. Miami. Um, y bueno, ya con eso creo que vamos a terminando la... And these are going to be the last images of the presentation. La presentación. Por breve, ¿no? It was brief. It's all right. Too brief. Let's see your time. So we have time for some questions. Uh, okay, would you be able to come up? Well, you can speak loudly. I mean, yeah, great. Um, I was just curious, when you come into the United States, and you have all these suitcases of this. How does our Homeland Security welcome you? They treat me well. I brought part of the exhibit with me, but I spent more than a month working here in the United States to put it all together. So part of the exhibit was actually producing the gallery itself. The images were printed here. The acrylic boxes were made here. The acrylic boxes were made here. The, the umbrellas were bought here. <laughs> but yes, the luggage tends to be very big with all the work and material. Very little like, in terms of clothing, a lot of material. <laughs> I also take care of putting it all apart, so they will not take much space. It's the idea of using an umbrella structure, or any, or the leaves. Uh, well, the leaves you explained, but what, what, where do these creative ideas come from? Here's what stimulates your ideas creative, for example, the sombrillas and all those things. Yes, the paraguas. Es decir, muchas veces las ideas son muy sencillas. Sometimes the ideas are very simple. The umbrella was just an object that I happened to like. When you take all the fabric away, it's a very pretty object. It's like a spider. So I wanted to take advantage. And that's one of the reasons why I used transparent images so you could see the structure of the umbrella. So you will see that all the images are from classic paintings. In the transparency of the film, you see it's important paintings. And because it's an umbrella, I called it uh, in the shadows of the great masters. <laughs> yeah, another question. One more. Um, do you think artists in Cuba have more unique vision, are more isolated than artists around the rest of the world? No, no, no exactamente. No, I don't believe so. If you want to have information, you get it. The Cuban art is moving along. 
ejemplo, ¿verdad? Solo puede su obra en diferentes lugares. Podemos mover nuestro trabajo a diferentes lugares. En ese sentido, privilegiado. En ese sentido, we have we have a privilege in the case of Cuba. Gavin, do you do it all alone? Do you have a lot of work that you have done for the sisters? Yes, my wife. And her sister. Yeah. Yeah. And her sister. And usually the people at the galleries as well. They already know my way to work. <laughs> How difficult is it to get funding to do your installations? Well, it's very difficult to get funding to do your installations. It is not that hard. No, because coming from a place with a few resources, you always, when I always try to work with elementary materials, I've never expected large support. For example, those three pieces, it's all photo paper that I buy every time I travel when I leave Cuba because there's not much in Cuba but it's sitting on a black black fabric that was originally a piece of uh, carpet so I picked it up and, and recycled it and used it in order to finish those pieces when you have a, a disadvantage, you have to take advantage of it. And one of the advantages of living in Cuba is that it makes your mind more creative with whatever you have. I have lived in uh, for years in Spain. It's very easy to go out of the house and buy the paper, the photo paper. So I realized that I was repeating the same, the use of the same material. If you live in Cuba and you buy a few pieces that fit in your luggage, when you write a paper, you have to use the umbrellas. <laughs> the broken dishes in the house, the furniture, etc. And that makes you change. <laughs> Otherwise, you, your work will be too pure. <laughs> En su serie de, de fotos familiares, usted utilizó fotos de la familia, only, sí. only photos from his family. Sí, porque utilizo solo la foto de la familia para darle un poco de, para darle, ser lo más legítimo. I use only the photo families in order to be more legit, legit, legitimate. Las fotos antiguas suelen ser muy lindas. The old photos tend to be very pretty. Me encanta especial. They have a special charm. Pero si comienzo a utilizar fotos, cualquier tipo de fotografía. But if I were to start using any kind of photos, it would lose the sense of what I want to portray, which is the memory of my ancestors. Back to it. It is a shape that I like a lot. But sometimes some people are more attracted to rectangles. For example. But when there's a circle, there's always a question. The idea of the circle is like a representation of my own world, my objects, my family. 
Y esa representación del mm -hmm. mundo suele ser a veces circular. That representation tends to be circular sometimes. Like in the maps. Le da esa sensación de, de mundo plano. Yeah, like a, like a flat a plana de un mundo determinado. It's actually a flat representation of a determined particular figura, world. Sean todos los círculos como las esferas son las figuras muy casi yo diría perfectas. ¿no? And circles as well as spheres are almost perfect shapes. They don't have a center and a symmetry. <coughs> This photography to us, or this only exposing, and what is this purpose bring to us, and what we can learn from this uh, photography? Gracias por venir aquí y quiero saber si se puede vender estas fotografías y cuál es el el objetivo de usted para estar aquí con nosotros. Bueno, sí, espero que que la galería se venda la fotografía. I certainly hope that uh, these photos will sold at the gallery. <laughs> I am not here precisely just for business. I love to work. But I am very bad at business. So I have to rely on people who know the business. <laughs> the, the art market is not that good anyways. But not everybody seems to be needing a, a, a artwork at the walls these days. <laughs> Although some people do. But the reason for my visit here is that he invited the group of Ron. The reason for my presence here is that uh, Professor Ron from Good Hill visited me at home and he invited me to come here. He invited me to be, come here to San Francisco. And then he is the one who organized this particular event. And uh, the people that visited me too. <laughs>